Hey everybody, it's Marshall Monkey here, and this is going to be my DC Movies, you know, uh, Monkey Justice episode, talking about who's running it, talking about all the uh, logic behind it, which is kind of weird, because it doesn't really make as much sense as, as I'd like it to, uh, but forgive me, because I just woke up, so I look a little bit like a mess. Look at my hair, it's doing something weird. Uh, but yeah, but I have so many things to catch up on, so I decided to make this video first. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into this. Oh my gosh, Suicide Squad was trampled on in this announcement. Totally didn't work. Uh, I think that... I, I don't know how I feel about it, but in the Hollywood Reporter story for this um, news, for the Jeff Johns and John Berg news, they totally trampled Suicide Squad. I mean, it was just like, Suicide Squad's third act was horrible, and Jeff Johns had to pop on over to David Ayer and rewrite his script. What?! That is ridiculous, people. I mean, it's just like, wow, really? Because, like, you see Suicide Squad is, like, so invincible for DC right now. It's kind of like DC's wild card, but in a good way. Because it's like, Batman v Superman, critics say, wax fun. It's not supposed to be fun. <laughs> it's not supposed to be, like, a, a silly matter. But anyway, but I don't know what they mean. Like, they mean, like, fun, like, like, Marvel, like, fun action. But it's like, um... It doesn't matter. And then, but then it's like, here's your fun, Suicide Squad. And then to hear that the third act is actually really bad and had to be rewritten. And the reshoots were actually not for humor, which we already knew. I mean, David Ayer said that it was for more action. But it's not for more action either. Apparently, he lied. It's actually because the third act was so horrible and they needed major additional photography. He lied to everybody. I don't know how... But he fooled everyone. It was I believed it. I was like, okay, more action. That seems like maybe it's too funny and they needed to put more action, or maybe they wanted to add more action, or maybe like there's too much story and they wanted more action. Okay. But then the one that it was actually because the third act is just terrible. What? It's just terrible. So they had to go in and fix it. And I was like, what? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 slow down. David Ayer, you lied to like Tons of people, and it's just like, okay. And I think that the reason why this is happening is that Warner Brothers is so unhappy. I mean, I definitely think that Warner Brothers is in their suits and ties, like, giving the finger to Zack Snyder. <laughs> like, it's like, Zack Snyder, you failed us all. You failed us with Batman v Superman. It was supposed to be this huge movie, and it didn't work. But I think it worked. I love the movie. I love Batman v Superman. It's one of my favorites. Uh, and it's actually my favorite DC movie. So I loved it. I thought it was great. I applaud Zack Snyder's work. But, it does have problems that needed to be fixed. Fixed, But in my opinion, they're minor problems. They're not big problems. I mean, it's just that the movie did not go as far beyond as we thought it would. So, you know, that's just one thing. But I feel like it can get fixed. Uh, and I feel like Zack Snyder might have to be on the chopping block because of it. Although I do think he should get another chance. I definitely think. But right now with Justice League, you know, happening, I'm wondering if Jeff Johns had to pop over over there. And, and I think that Jeff Johns, not John Berg, I don't think John Berg, but Jeff Johns definitely has to tell everybody the truth. Your movies are not working for a large percent of audience, of moviegoers around the world. So we need to fix this. Zack Snyder... I'm looking at you. That's why I think Jeff Johns has to do. Because Zack Snyder, while he is a great director in my opinion, and is doing something artistic and different, that doesn't sell tickets. That does not work. And I think that they need to look over at Marvel right now, because Marvel has a minor problem right now, uh, but they're, they've pretty much fixed it, which is the whitewashing problem of Doctor Strange. But I'm not going to talk about that, because that really doesn't make sense. But that's just one problem. I mean, they don't have a lot of problems, right? They don't have, like, a big thing. Because they have a Kevin Feige. What is a Kevin Feige? A Kevin Feige is a man that basically runs every single movie and then reports to Alan Horn, who is the head of Disney, right? So that makes sense. But with here, you don't have that. Because DC is a wild card. Like, not... And that... And I mean that in a bad way. Not a good wild card, like Suicide Squad, the movie. But DC, in general, is a wild card. Because you don't know what they're going to do. Because they're a very director-driven company. Like, they're a very... Or a studio, I guess you could say. Who knows? Or I guess that's Warner Brothers. But they're a very director-heavy when it comes to the DC movies. I mean, look at Zack Snyder. Look at his artistic, different uh, vision for Batman v Superman. That didn't work. So if you go over here and look at, um, you know, James Wan and uh, Patty Jenkins and Charles Rovin, well, he's not, I don't think he's a director, I think he's a producer, but still, and then you also look at David Ayer, 
Um, you know, who else is directing? I mean, it's all the directors that were announced for now. Yeah. But look at all those uh, directors and look at all those people. And it's kind of like, you know, that, that they're pushing them to be the best. And I definitely think that they will eventually come out on top with that artistic vision. But for right now, it's not working. So I definitely think they need to go in there and find a balance. And I don't think that Jeff Johns and John Berg, as two people who report to two different people, Jeff Johns is going to be reporting to the head of D, or I guess, not the head, but one of, I guess, the executives at DC or something. I don't know. I can't remember for sure. I don't Maybe it was the head of DC. I'm not for, I'm not for sure on that one. DC Entertainment. I'm not for sure on that one, but I think it could have been. And then John Berg is going to report to the head of the, the Warner Brothers movies, I think, like, the division of movies, like, they'll do the Lego movies and all that stuff, he's going to be reporting for that guy, um, so it's, like, you're two different people working together, like, as a team, as a duo, on all of these movies, and you report to two different people, it doesn't really make sense, although, with Marvel, it's kind of like one company, or, like, one studio, right, it's, like, one thing, uh, because it's in the Disney family, so they don't need to report to two different divisions because Marvel's basically their own kind of, like, unit. And with DC and Warner Brothers, they're just, like, two studios that are kind of, like, there, right? You know, like, it's like, D here's DC that's doing all this entertainment stuff, and here's Warner Brothers that's producing it. It's not like Marvel that just makes them, right? It's not like they just make the movies. That's what Marvel does right now. Even though they report to Disney, and they are kind of like a unit of Disney, it's not exactly... Um, you know, like DC and Warner Brothers that are like two studios making one movie. It's kind of like Marvel making one movie, uh, which is, you know, reporting to that bigger studio. You know what I mean? So it's not like that. So I feel like that's something that needs to be, you know, said, is that you can't report to two different people uh, that are in different, you know, studios that don't, that probably don't communicate. Because I'm telling you, the head of DC Entertainment, I think, is that that's what Jeff Johnson is reporting to. I'm not for sure on that one. But the head of um, DC Entertainment and the head of the uh, Warner Brothers Movies division, they, I, they're probably not communicating at all. Like, they're probably reporting to these people and they're not going back and forth. Maybe they are, who knows. Or maybe the Warner Brothers other executives are dealing with it. I have no idea. But it seems like if you don't exactly know, because a lot of people don't understand what's going on behind the scenes, so a lot of people think if you don't uh, understand what's going on, that's not a good sign, <laughs> that's for sure. But with Kevin Feige, Kevin Feige runs all the movies and then reports to one guy, Alan Horn. And then Jeff Johns and uh, Je uh, John Berg are going to be reporting to two different people that probably aren't going to be communicating all the time because they're running everything else. So it's kind of like you need one set person. I know I don't want to say that because I do think that Jeff Johns is amazing. I love Jeff Johns. I just want to meet this guy, give him a hug because I just love him so much. And I love that he is involved in DC Rebirth. It's an amazing story. Uh, I love DC Rebirth so much. I'm excited to see what the heck this has in store for the DC comics right now. Um, and I'm really excited for all the other comics that are going to be released since then. Or I guess since, you know, in the future. Um, like Batman number one, Suicide Squad number one. Like all these things that are going to be coming out, I'm super excited for. And I do think that DC right now in the comics has more love than Marvel right now. Because in the comics... Hail Hydra, Captain America ain't doing great at all. Like, everyone hates that right now. I understand why. So that's, you know, that, but that's a different story. So I definitely think that they have some, so I love Jeff Johns. I definitely think that, they, that he specifically has work to do. I, I think John Byrne, or John, not John Byrne, sorry, John Berg, uh, is, has been working on the movies already. You know, he's already been working on the DC movies right now. So he might be a part of the problem. I mean, but probably not, because I think that that really just heavily hits on Zack Snyder. I don't think Warner Brothers is the vi like is to blame here. I think that they're the victim, because I think that they didn't they had so much faith in Zack Snyder for this to work, because I do think Man of Steel was great, and I say, I say this again, it didn't get as much hate as Batman v Superman. Maybe a lot of hate, uh, but not as much as Batman v Superman did. So I think that they already thought Zack Snyder was already going to do a good job because of that, maybe. Or maybe because there was so much control over that hate for Man of Steel. Uh, but with Batman v Superman, oh my gosh, it just opened the floodgates for hatred. And I think that that was crazy um, for, them, for that to happen. So I think that Zack Snyder, while I love his work and while he's great, he's got to go. I'm sorry, guys. I think the Warner Brothers in DC need to fire him or let him go or just like put him on something else. But not the superhero, not the DC EU. I think that that's truly what should happen. He has to go. But unfortunately, we can't kick him out right now because he's working in Justice League already and they can't replace him mid into production. Or maybe not, not mid into production, like not middle of production, but 
to the, you know, in, they're already in, you know, full steam ahead in production. So I don't think they can get rid of Zack Snyder just yet, but they can after Justice League is finished. Like, you, they just give him the boot uh, and let him go. I'm so sorry to say that, guys, because I love Batman vs. Superman. I love his artistic vision. I love what he did. But so many people hated it. So I definitely think he needs to go. And I think that Jeff Johns is already working on the Batman movie with Ben Affleck, so that will be great, too. So I think that DC is building the blocks up. But they have so much work to do because I don't think that this reporting to two different people works. That doesn't make sense to me. And then, like, having them communicate, that's just, like, a circle of, like, I, I can't even describe it. Like, it's like, what? I don't think that that makes sense. So I think that they need to report to one individual specifically before they end up just making this chaos. But I do think that they're working. I, think, I definitely think that they're building their way up. And World War Z actually uh, had to reshoot as well and kind of rebound from their third act. So who knows? Suicide Squad could rebound too and be great. I mean, we, it's not over yet. It's not The fight's not over yet for Suicide Squad. They are definitely going to win us over by the end because if it is true, if Jeff Johns had to rewrite a lot of stuff, then I think he did a good job. I think Jeff Johns may have been able to put it on the golden, you know, the golden top, you know, or whatever you want to say, like the golden postal or something. I definitely think that Jeff Johns is great uh, at, you know, rewriting and, and writing, as we've seen with comics, uh, obviously. So I think that he could have been able to fix it. So who knows? But what do you guys think about this news? Are you excited for what Jeff Johns and John Berg will come up with and how they're going to run the DCEU? Or were you hoping that it would be like the Snyderverse and have like a lot of these directors just pushing their own uh, weight uh, with every movie. So what do you guys think about that? Comment down below. Links are there to my other Monkey Justice videos. Links are there to my Twitter, Instagram, Vine, Vlog channel, and Sim channel. Don't forget to like and favorite this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.